Welcome back to another beginner pen testing video here. Now, next on the series is going to be OSINT and Passive Recon. Now, I'm going to go into a little bit of it today, and I'm also going to give you a recommended resource if you'd like to dive in and really get hands-on with this. But for all you guys that are new to the space, I want to give a solid overview to this. So if that sounds interesting, definitely stay tuned. Right, guys, what's up? This is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. So OSINT, it's short for Open Source Intelligence. And um, basically what I'm talking about here is a very passive form of recon. And normally it involves looking at social media. Pretty much anything out there on the open internet is fair game. But the main thing is that you're not really touching anything that uh, belongs to the target, right? Like you're not actually running scans on the target servers or, you know, doing anything that would be considered active recon. This is a more of a passive recon type of technique here. And uh, basically the goal is recon, right? Getting as much information as you can on a target. Now, admittedly, I would say this is something that is not, chances are where you, where you go, you may not have to, do any kind of OSINT uh, for your job. If you're working for a company that does all their pen testing in-house, then, I mean, I guess in a way you're doing OSINT when you are looking at the previous scans, right? It's open source to your company, right? I guess it's not completely open source to the public, but there'll be certain information that you will have provided to you if you are doing this internally within an organization. And that's definitely things you should leverage. If you're in a red team scenario, then maybe you use like the company's, uh, the company's system, you know, whatever system they use to uh, track their employees and maybe their employees uh, even enter some information on there, like their hobbies and things like that, or anything that can aid you in carrying out maybe a social engineering attack or something like that. Uh, we'll be covering social engineering attacks a little bit more later on and what they are, but for now, just know that they are targeted attacks that uh, are crafted by an attacker to actually, well, you can throw out the general social engineering attacks and you can spearfish, meaning you're really targeting someone's particular interest. You do you did the research, you found out what those interests are. Now you're going to craft a targeted attack to get them to maybe click a mil uh, malicious link, something like that, but... Basically, you know, as same with the uh, active recon when you guys are running nmap scans and things like that for you guys that are familiar with that. The goal is the same. You just try to obtain as much information as possible to then use in an attack down the line. This is a very important step. And uh, like I said, it can manifest in different ways. So I kind of explained, you know, how you would use this internally, but maybe you do work for a company that is a, uh, maybe one of the big three, right? You might work for like a KPMG and EY or, you know, Deloitte, something like that. And you're actually, uh, you know, other companies are hiring you out to pen test their environment. And one thing you can do is do some OSINT, see what you can find out there on the open internet with your passive recon, you know, and, and things like that, right? Maybe it's within the scope of the engagement to do social engineering. That's where you're really going to get a lot of uh, good stuff. But, I mean, it could be the case that uh, there was some information out there on the open internet and it wasn't locked down properly. It might not necessarily involve any social engineering at all. So for you, those of you that are like me and you're pen testers rather than red teamers, uh, this is something that can still be of use, right? So maybe you use something like Shodan where you can scan the internet for servers belonging to the company that you work for and maybe you identify some servers that are not locked down properly that the company thought they cleaned up but they didn't actually properly decommission them and they're still out there on the open internet and they're exposing some kind of uh, sensitive data, some kind of service or you know anything like that right? And that's basically using open source intelligence, technically, because Shodan.io is a open source tool that anyone can use to scan the internet for these devices. Perhaps I'll cover that in a future video. Let me know down in the comments section below if you'd like me to. That's a whole another video right there using that tool. 
Uh, and basically, it's like the Google of devices, if, if you will, right? Shodan is, uh, it allows you to search the internet instead of for websites and by keywords and stuff, you search for actual devices out there on the internet. It's a very cool tool, very handy for both attackers and defenders alike. But uh, yeah, let's get right started into it. If you want to learn about OSINT, the best way to do that is to get hands-on practice doing this stuff. And to that end, I will say for those of you who are interested in OSCP, the last time I took it a couple years ago, they did have an OSINT section covered in the lab guide. They kind of touched upon it. Now, I will say if you're going for OSCP, that's not going to be a particularly... Uh, important thing to know for OSCP. Like you're not going to need to do most likely any OSINT at all on the actual exam, but they do cover it in the lab guide. And as they've updated the lab guide to add more stuff into it, I'm sure they kept that section as well. So you can learn some of it from there, but if you want to get into this stuff and you want to explore without having to go for OSCP, you want to explore OSINT, then try hack me has a pretty good room. I'm going to put that up on the screen. This is basically what I'm referring to with the try hack me room. There's one called OSINT here. And you know, it says, are you able to use open source intelligence to solve this challenge? So if you go on to try hack me and in the search bar, you type OSINT. I think the way I found this was just a simple Google search, try hack me OSINT. And you see this room here. Now I haven't personally done this room, but just knowing try hack me, they're very, uh, very good way to learn it. They'll hold your hand through it and kind of walk you through the steps uh, that you want to, uh, that you need to take in order to do this. And if you're confused, you can click on hints and things like that. And uh, see, this one in particular doesn't have too much of a hand holding, does not too much, doesn't have too much stuff to really help guide you. But what you could do is you could just say, you know, OSINT write up or something, right? And you'll see someone, you'll be able to read, walk through. Sec Juice is a pretty good resource, right? And, uh, you know, you can basically read how they did it. And that'll give you a good idea, right? This is using social media to find information. And you'll learn about some different tools that are pretty neat as well out there. And, yeah, this is just a great way to get started and to really get hands-on because I think that's a really important part. That's what separates us on the offensive side from some of the other areas of security where they're more theoretical, you know, like a management role or something like that. With offensive security, with pen testing, we're very hands-on people. And that is the best way to learn, in my opinion, when it comes to this type of stuff. So yeah, definitely a resource that I'd highly recommend. Maybe you guys have some resources out there. Honestly, I don't do too much OSINT myself. But for completeness, I wanted to include it in here to any of you guys that are new to the space and uh, you've heard this term maybe thrown around uh, at your job or things like that and you weren't exactly sure what it means. This is what is going on with that. And so if you guys have any resources down there that you want to add in to addition to this, drop them down in the comments section below. It's always much appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button as well to help get this message out there to someone who might be confused about OSINT. And I will see you guys in future videos. So if you want to keep learning about uh, pen testing and offensive security from completely the ground up, go ahead and uh, check out the video playlist on screen now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you right over there.